Hello, my name is Jacob, and today on Maintenance Minute, we're going to talk about properly checking your lights. So I definitely want to point out this switch right here. This is our light cycle check. What this does is it runs a cycle on all of our light bulbs. What it doesn't do is tell us that our lights are actually gonna come on when we activate the switches we use on a regular basis. So this may tell us that our light bulbs are working. It's not gonna tell us that when we turn on our turn signal with our column that that light is actually working. Um, so we want to actually go through all of our switches to make sure that they're all functioning properly. The lights I wanna check are, we're gonna check our marker lights, parking and drive lights, my four-way flashers. We have a side marker light here, we have a turn signal, and then currently we're checking our low beams. Now we need to check our high beams. And our high beams are functioning as well. We have our marker lights up here. We have our marker light and turn signal on the fender. We also have our marker light on the top corner of the trailer under here. We have our four-way flashers and tail lights. We have another turn signal and marker light. We've got a marker light here. We have our three marker lights on top, as well as our four-way flashers, turn signals, and tail lights. And the same on the other side of the vehicle. So now I'm gonna check our turn signals independently of the four-way flashers. One in the front, one on the side of the tractor, the rear of our tractor. We have our belly light and on the rear of the vehicle. And then we repeat that for the other side. There's one more light that we haven't checked yet. That's our ABS light on the trailer. So there's a few ways we can check this. It should come on when we cycle our ignition, but there's another way we can check it from outside the vehicle. With the key still on, this one's nice and tight. All right, that's good. All right, so we disconnect the power, and when we reapply power, our ABS light should turn on and shut off. It happens fast. Sometimes when our power supply is loose, we lose a connection to our lights, and that can actually cause them to go out and not function properly. We can still get violations for that. So we need to make sure that we have a properly seated connection and that if there are problems, we have that corrected. Our lights are vital to being safe and it helps with communication. So please make sure that all of your lights are functioning properly. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.